Okay, dancers. I really thought it would be a very good idea to put this in to give you a goal, a target. Now, some of you will not be able to achieve this straight away. And again, please be very careful about this. We're all built different. I repeat this, I do know. But unfortunately, I cannot be there with you physically, but I am there with you mentally to make sure that you understand the principles of stretching. So here, find something. If you do not have a bar, you could easily use the windowsill or a table. The idea is to be as correct as possible. Now what we're doing is we're stretching the hamstrings and the lower back. Again, if you can't do it on a table, then do it on a chair. It's all about you finding the maximum stretch within your capabilities. Now, our dancer here has been dancing for many years. She has very flexible hips. But again, this is for you to have a goal. This is how it can be and it should be. Now, what the dancer is, always swap sides. If you can achieve this, it's about stretching those legs and opening the hips. If you can't, once again, it's not the end. It's all about getting to this particular goal. Now again, find a table, a windowsill, stretch as correctly as possible, bending the legs. If I may remind you, this is something that you do after all those other exercises, you have to be very warm to do these things so that the muscles are flexible, pliable, so they're not brittle. Again, if you cannot do this on the windowsill or the table is too high, do it on the seat of the chair. I really want you to understand the value of stretching and all the options one has. Again, this is your goal. You can get there if you work and practice very hard. Thank you very much for listening to me.